Yeah, Steve, Julian has been playing basketball all over the globe. Just last year, he had a stint in Israel, so he has seen the difficult day-to-day -day nature for both Palestinians and Israelis. This time while playing in the Middle East, he decided to come back here to Raleigh to be with his family, fearful of escalating violence. Do your thing, then. Hey! These are the moments... Oh, for sure, he got the height. ...any dad can love. Oh! And you know Julian Gamble loves to see his three little ones not just taking an interest in what he does. His mom is a fantastic shooter, by the way. Basketball comes naturally for the kids. His wife played college at Fayetteville State, him at the University of Miami. You've seen the world, huh? Julian has seen a lot of places playing professional basketball overseas. I played in France, Belgium, Italy, Germany, uh, China, and Spain and then Israel. One stop was in Israel last year. Obviously playing in Herzliya um, before this season, I had a, a short stint with the Lebanese team, uh, Beirut Sports Club. Julian went to Southern High in Durham and was in Qatar for a Lebanese team that won a championship last Thursday. But the war in the Middle East was unsettling enough for him to leave his team and head back to North Carolina to be with his family. I just felt that it was safest to, to come back. Even for me, like I had to, to get a new passport um, just to be able to go to the countries. His stint in Israel was nothing but positive. They've always treated me with nothing but love and respect. So, I mean, for everybody in this in this area, I just pray for their safety and, and for peace. Julian praying from Raleigh for an end to the violence. Grateful to be home with his family in the Triangle and hopeful to be back overseas playing soon to continue providing for them. The basketball sticks with me, but what sticks with me the most is how every country and every team and every city kind of has its own identity. For some of his stints overseas, his family has come to live with him. He and his then pregnant wife were living in Belgium back in 2016 when there was a terrorist attack at the airport. Julian told me wherever he goes next, he wants to ensure that that place is safe. Stephen Lauren, back to yeah. you.